Hey, you all, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the west. More specifically, we are in Wall, South Dakota, home of Wall Drug, one of the greatest and most famous roadside attractions in the United States. But what is, what is Wall Drug? I remember seeing bumper stickers, signs for Wall Drug, I had no idea what it was, and I just remember seeing this as a kid. It's kind of the same advertising tactic as Rock City, another one of the greatest roadside attractions where they advertised, they put their name everywhere so you just see it, and you think, what is that? Until you finally go see it for yourself. And Wall Drug is a drug store. It is a small town drug store here in Wall, South Dakota. And you may ask yourself, how does a small town drug store become one of the greatest roadside attractions of all time? Well, it's more than just a little drug store. It is expanded with, with fun and theming throughout the years. Um, it, it came notorious for travelers here as they, for, it started in 1930s, and they would advertise free ice water to all travelers. It was a way to draw people in, and once you drew people in, you had to give them something special. So in addition to giving them a free glass of ice water, they would amuse them with some cowboy theming, some other western amusements, and uh, it has become one of my favorite uh, roadside attractions. Of course, I don't get a chance to get out here to South Dakota too often, so I'm very excited to be able to experience Wall Drug today. So please, follow me. And as you first roll into the town of Wall, you're immediately hit with amazement and wonder. This is the 80-foot Wall Drug dinosaur sitting on the outskirts of Wall, greeting traffic drawing it in, telling people to visit Wall Drug. This massive dinosaur here created by one Emmett Sullivan, who also has a dinosaur park in Rapid City, South Dakota, and probably most notoriously created the Christ of the Ozark statue in Eureka Springs, Arkansas. But without further ado, let's go head over to Wall drug. And we have not made it to Wall Drug yet, but I've already seen something that blows my mind. Look at this. Look at the size of that jackalope. Now we stopped at Dolls Chainsaw Art yesterday in uh, Keystone, South Dakota, and we saw the world's largest Bigfoot. But today, here at Dolls Chainsaw Art in Wall, South Dakota, we have the world's largest jackalope. That is a thing of beauty. Just look at that. Now it says here on this sign that you can go inside, but unfortunately, it looks like the door, which is a man's face, is locked. So I guess we, they're closed currently, so we cannot go inside. So dang that, that's a little bit of a disappointment, but uh, I don't know, you know, things around here aren't as busy. This time of year, it is pretty cold out. So uh, we'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. Definitely need to get up there. Looks like you enter there. There must be some sort of staircase in the belly. And then you can get on that little porch there on top of the world's largest jackalope. Definitely need to get back here when it's warmer and be able to climb to the top of the world's largest jackalope. In addition to being uh, being large, he's also just incredibly detailed. Ah, look at him. Of 
course below the towering jackalope here some other wonderful sculptures you got the traditional chainsaw bear the eagle but <laughs> what i noticed is this very fascinating horseman right here he walks on horse feet but has man hands he has rippling abs and he is standing straight up huh you got a sasquatch here not as big as a sasquatch we saw yesterday but uh pretty cool so he's flexing his muscles there for here we have a map of south dakota you can see the uh griswolds there i guess uh headed to wall drug looks like some beavers are stealing their uh stealing their hubcaps yeah this is the entire state of uh south dakota we were here yesterday at mount rushmore didn't get a chance to check out the crazy horse memorial i did want to see how they were coming along looks like that uh, little jackalope there and up here to sturgis the uh, motorcycle rally but uh yeah i think we're because where's where's wall wall oh wall's right there okay next to the badland national park okay good news i was just about to leave just about to head out and a lady pulled up in a car and said she was getting ready to open up the jackalope so we will get to go into the top i'm so excited all right so excited the uh jackalope is open and look at this we can have electricity inside the jackalope oh my gosh there is miniature jackalopes inside the world's largest jackalope look at that guy right there this is so much fun oh, look at that the little guy right there oh wow <laughs> how high we are or how low we are look up the stairs there i love this i want one of these for my for my house <laughs> oh yeah look at this even like the the poles here have faces in them. It's very intricate inside the murals of jackalopes here. It's like the ultimate jackalope pilgrimage here. You can see the antlers as we climb all the way to the top here. And here we are, looking out on the world from the world's largest jackalope. You can see the horseman down there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look, <laughs> look above us. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is, this is a lot of fun. I think we'll check out the shop. They've opened that as well. It has some very, very cool stuff in here. Look at these uh, wooden skulls. These are pretty amazing. And a reptilian skull back there. See a little buffalo, little buffalo guy there in overalls. And uh, yeah, up here we do have uh, a miniature jackalope there. So, so excited. I, I thought I was going to have to leave without being able to go up inside the world's largest jackalope. Bought myself a t-shirt and some stickers. But now, now it is time to head to Waldrug. And here we are on the main strip of Wall, South Dakota. You can see on this side a couple different gift shops. But this entire side of the street is taken up by Wall Drugstore. 
See here, they tell you to bring your camera. I sure will. See here, also known as the ice water store. And let's head into the greatest drugstore on planet Earth. Oh, here we are. See the uh, prospector hanging out on the bench there. Yeah, all these different uh, different shops, different areas to enter. Another uh, another cowpoke right there. Here's a carving of Wyatt Earp, the famed lawman and BFF to Doc Holliday, where uh, we recently in Colorado visited the uh, building that Doc Holliday died in. Now it does appear that Wall Drug is a penny smashing paradise. Of course, I've been trying to collect more smash, smashed pennies, and it uh, looks like the cow poke here will smash a penny for us. This one is three quarters in a penny. Usually it's either two quarters in a penny or four quarters in a penny. I don't know if I've seen a lot of three quarters and a penny. Let's get this. Get this. Hey, hey. I did go to one of those. Sometimes I'm a bit rusty. Oh boy, now that's a great choice. Oh, I didn't choose yet. Yeah, you see the penny right there, just waiting for me to pick. Let's go with, oh, some great choices, the T-Rex there. Let's go with the uh, the wall drug uh, jackalope, since we saw the world's largest jackalope. Let's see, turning the crank there. There we go. Ding. It's a beautiful, shiny jackal up there. It's a cowboy and a cowgirl here next to the medallions. Again, I've not uh, not collect started collecting the medallions. They're pretty cool, but uh, $5 a piece, that seems like that could uh, get expensive pretty quick. I guess they have various wood carvings of famous Wild West figures. Annie Oakley there, the uh, trick shooter, performed in uh, Buffalo Bill's Wild West show. And here is Buffalo Bill himself. Yeah, Buffalo Bill's outside the Hole in the Wall bookstore here. Oh, look at that, who's, who's peering at us? Someone is <coughs> peering. Another penny press here. Now this one's got a jackalope, but this jackalope has a saddle on it. I, th I think I need both. And we got Pappy here, telling fortunes. Oh look at, look at Pappy's eyes. Oh look at that. Got a sh shifty eyed Pappy here. But uh, of course we gotta give Pappy, Pappy some Sweet cash here. Come on closer now. Pappy's got something to tell you. Oh, closer. Very important. He who laughs last thinks slowest. You better be laughing loud there, feller, and enjoy the pleasure of good company. Now you come back with a small treasure for this old miner to give you more wisdom. And that's worth all the gold in them air hills. And yes, don't forget, we are technically in a drugstore. So here is actually the 
drugstore section, which is also an apothecary shop museum. You see the uh, super spooky skeleton there hanging in the window. And yeah, all these different apothecary items, pills, different, uh, different elixirs. You can also buy, you know, normal pharmacy things that you might need. Tylenol, Pepto-Bismol, Milk of Magnesia. This sculpture here is called Conjuring Back the Buffalo. It's the Native American holding the painted buffalo skull aloft. Here's the uh, lawman, Wild Bill Hickok. He was uh, murdered not too far from here in uh, Deadwood, South Dakota. And there's Poker Alice, the famed poker dealing, cigar smoking granny. Zoltar, I saw Pappy coming in. I didn't know you were here, but of course you always, yeah, I will always, always give Zoltar my treasure. Zoltar is here to give you the wisdom of the ancients. Do with it what you will. Destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It is a thing to be achieved. Create your destiny wisely, my friend. And surrender a bit more wealth for more instruction from Zoltar. It's to surrender a bit more wealth. Your fortune is mine for the telling and yours for the hearing. This Wild West carving is known only as the Sheriff. This appears to be some sort of musical machine here. Again, only one way to find out how this works. Feed it money. Another penny smasher, and look at this. Another. We have the standing jackalope, we have the jackalope with the saddle, but we don't have the jackalope head. I, I need this one too. And I think I'm gonna get, and I think I'm gonna get the uh, the uh, dinosaur as well. Yeah, they got almost all the Wild West figures here. Here's Billy, the kid. I don't know, Billy, a kid famous for being so small and childlike, he could actually just slip out of the bars of any jail. There's a chapel here, Waldrug the Traveler's Chapel. It is dedicated to the priests and ministers who have served on the wall of the Badlands since 1909. So yeah, people, weary travelers off the road, stop here at the uh, roadside attraction. You can come in here, you know, to take a moment of spirituality, a moment of rest, a moment of reflection. There's a rock shop here known as the Rock Hound. You can see the hound there chiseling away at that rock. And uh, yeah, this first hallway actually known as Animal Alley because of all the different uh, pieces of taxidermy you see hanging out. Here is Badger Clark. Actually, do not know anything about Badger Clark. Maybe he's someone I need to uh, need to uh, do some research on. But uh, let's head down Cowboy Alley here into this section of Wall Drug. Looks like we've wandered into a gift shop area here. We of course purchase a jackalope head there. Two twenty nine for these jackalope mounts. Now I have a jackalope mount, but I always wondered to myself, do I need more jackalopes? Apparently, Wall Drug also known for having five cent coffee, so you can take home this five cent coffee mug for ten dollars. Here's Ted Husted's 
Cowboy Orchestra. I heard them playing a little bit of Johnny Cash when I uh, first came in. I think you may have to, I don't see a button to activate them or anywhere to put money in. So I think you may just have to wait till they start playing. I think maybe periodically they play a song. So I may just have to listen. And if I hear them playing to run back over here, but look at them, aren't they? Aren't they, uh, aren't they wonderful here? The guy with the lasso. Oh, I do really appreciate these giant rattlesnakes wearing cowboy hats. Okay, the lady told me that the two dioramas uh, alternate. So once that other one stops, the cowboy band stops, this over here, these cowpokes at their campsite start singing. You see this guy strumming on his guitar here. See the prairie dog popping up there. A couple different uh, coyotes howling at the moon. Yeah, nothing cheers me out more than hearing a hearing a trio of singing cowboys. Yeah, this guy right here. Looks like he's uh, tapping his foot along to the music. The wall of plushies here has a couple different versions of the jackalope for sale there. Yeah, still we're not very far from Rushmore, just a little over an hour away. So they do have some Rushmore merchandise, Rushmore snow globe there. With that uh, prairie rattlesnake snow globe. Got some glitter there. Here's a Waldrug free ice water snow globe there. Oh yeah, look at that. It's got little chunks of ice in it. Shake up the ice there. That's pretty interesting. And then of course lots of lots of fun uh, lots of fun jackalope stuff. This is a jackalope survival kit. What is in there? It's a mini roll of duct tape safety matches, book of matches, adhesive bandages. Wow. I didn't know you needed a jackalope survival kit. I guess that's if you go jackalope hunting with this uh, jackalope hunting permit. I, I do love the overabundance of jackalopes here. There's a fun little, little wood jackalope. You hit the button. Oh, you hit the button and he turns his head. Kind of wiggles a little bit. Yeah, I remember seeing these bumper stickers on uh, different cars and uh, never knowing what wall drug was till I was older. I did always wonder, where the heck is Waldrug? Oh, the cowboy started moving. Oh, you can see him. You see their mouths moving. I don't know what they're saying. See this dog here, itching his, itching his fleas. This guy's strumming away. Oh, I just noticed these uh, drinking, smoking squirrels there. You can see the... Uh, Lassoer there. Let's see, smacking that poor kid in the head with his lasso. Yeah, look at that fiddle, fiddler going to town there. The mandolin player and the accordion gentleman here. Yeah, I can pretty much say this is the uh, this is the greatest thing I have ever seen. Look how the eyes, uh, the spinning, rotating eyes. I hope you guys can see that Waldrug is a very, very special place. Oh, I love these little flocked uh, jackal up there. I think that's a prairie dog. Yeah, they're fuzzy. Say lucky penny in a bottle. Abe is saying, how did I get in this bottle? Honestly, I have no idea. Like some sort of snake oil salesman here. Looks like he, uh, this is Dr. Feelgood. He, he sells the amazing wall drug tonic. It, it cures what ails you. So apparently to get, uh, to get his pitch here, we need to give him uh, 50 cents. Looks like the, he can buy the tonic for $1.99 or pay 50 cents to hear Dr. Feelgood. All right, gather around folks and feast 
your eyes on this little bottle, because it'll change your life. It's the absolutely stupendous, most marvelous, soon-to-be world-famous breakthrough known as Wall Drug Snake Oil Cologne. Fellas, What's cologne? you need some attention from Snake the little ladies. Cologne. What about something to clean that rusty old shotgun? It's proven indispensable as a cleaning agent. You can agent. use it to clean shotguns. A shot of snake oil is all you need to do it. Just make sure you keep it away from any open flames, so. though. Oh, it's flammable. <laughs> Alright, looks like the Fountain and Cafe is this way. And here it is, what made Wall Drug famous. The free ice water. So you get the free ice water right there. Get the uh, the cup there. This is free ice water at Wall Drug. Of course, to make ice water, you need some ice, and you need some free ice water. And the world famous Wall Drug ice water. That's good water. It's cold. Doesn't taste weird. Don't taste any like chlorine or fluoride in there. It's pretty clear water. Yeah, I'd be very happy if I was traveling in the hot South Dakota sun. And I saw the promise of free ice water. I would be very content with this. All right, and I think we're gonna grab a little something to eat here at the Wall Drug Cafe. Now, I've had a buffalo burger before, but I've never had a buffalo hot dog. They uh, advertise buffalo hot dogs, so here we give this a try. Also, on the uh, soda cup here, you can see they have uh, Mount Rushmore and Wall Drug there in the same scene. Okay, let's try this buffalo hot dog. Add a little bit of ketchup and mustard there. Mm. See, it's extra kind of extra thick. It's got like a real crispiness to it. I don't know how they cook it, but it's like crispy all the way around. And good flavor. Although I don't know, I would recognize that as buffalo. It seems uh, it has a very hot dog taste to it, but a very good hot dog. Mm -hmm. And here today at Wall Drug, I am a member of the Clean Basket Club. Here we have some. Uh, prize winning deer heads. What I really like is the non-typical deer, deer antlers. You can see where the antlers form strange and unusual formations. Mountain lion of some sort there. Another uh, non-typical deer. Not a not deer, but a <laughs> non-typical deer. But now it is time to head to the backyard. There is much more fun lurking outside. Yeah, here at the Wall Drug backyard, you have some of their uh, wonderful and famous photo ops, like this Rushmore photo op. It's actually really hard to get a selfie with Mount Rushmore because it's so high up in the air and so far away that none of the selfie pictures uh, quite look right. Who knows? Someday they might carve my head on this mountain. This miniature train station here, they have a 
historical exhibit. It says Wall Drug Presents Westward We Go. Shows a map of the United States. There's Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. The uh, little signs there show the different Native American tribes that were uh, that were here already. Oh, you can see that uh, that is Wall Drug. That's the drug store right there, the original store. So we head into the uh, into the hills here. Yeah, look at this just giant, six foot tall, weird rabbit here. This is the ice water well that Ted Husted, the founder of Wall Drug. Uh, found in 1931, and he based his business around the free ice water from this well. They may have it turned off right now because it's pretty cold out. A little sad, this is closed. Uh, I think this has a singing piano playing gorilla inside. Can we at least peek in the window? Oh yeah, there he is. You can see him. Over top the piano there. I don't know. Maybe they turn him off when uh, when it's really cold out. And of course, the famous wall drug jackalope that you can ride. See if this indoor area here is open. Okay, looks like the outdoor area here. This may be closed in the off season. You can see the buffalo there. Yeah, one lesson I am learning here is it is a uh, is to visit South Dakota in the summer. There's much more much more stuff open in the summer. I'm glad that Wall Drug is open year round, but the outside looks like the outside the outside area is open. But then this building here is, is currently closed, probably just again for the season. Um, fun stuff in here. There's you know more fun, more animatronics, more fun stuff. They just probably don't get enough um, people this time of year to uh, to make it worth opening. And fun was had by all here at Wall Drug, but it's time to get back on that long, lonesome road. Now I do want to add the uh, Wall Drug bumper sticker to my car, but uh, this car is so filthy right now, I'm afraid if I put this on there, it would just fall off. So uh, once, I, uh, once I get a car wash, I'm gonna adhere this Wall Drug bumper sticker somewhere to the car. And we have driven about three hours down the road, about three hours east of Wall Drug. Stopped off here in Mitchell, South Dakota, home of the Corn Palace. Or as it says there at the top, the world's only Corn Palace. Now this is a roadside attraction that I've been fascinated with since I was a young child when I received a postcard from my cousin from the Corn Palace. And I remember reading about the Corn Palace in books, probably one of the first roadside attractions I was uh, fascinated with. And uh, what makes it interesting here, they actually, these murals on the Corn Palace are actually made of corn. They use real corn every year. They make new designs on the Corn Palace to, to create these murals. And then over the year, the uh, birds will pick away at the corn and eat away the murals to make room for the fresh murals in uh, in the new year. And um, inside the Corn Palace is a basketball court 
and venue where they can have concerts or meetings or, or various things. You see town hall, or city hall rather, actually connected to the Corn Palace there. And I know some of you may be saying, what exactly is a Corn Palace? And apparently, because I was curious about this, what inspired the Corn Palace? And apparently, uh, produce palaces were a thing one point uh, in the Midwest and, uh, and West in uh, places where there was a lot of farming where they would erect palaces to different produce. They may be a bean palace in certain areas and they would decorate them as a, as a way to bring in tourism and promote their local agriculture. But uh, yes, yeah, as world's only corn palace, there were different. There actually were other corn palaces at one point, but this is the last surviving of the produce palaces, the world's only corn palace. You can see their 2024 theme: famous South Dakotans. Over here, a uh, mural of an Olympic athlete. I'm not sure who that Olympic athlete is. If anyone does know, you can leave a comment in the comment section. Over here on the side of the Corn Palace, you can see a mural of Bob Barker from The Price is Right. Um, yeah, today I learned that Bob Barker was from South Dakota. So I guess some other famous South Dakotans here, although I'm not really able to determine who they are. It looks like a cowboy here in a gunfight, a, uh, a pilot padding his plane. He's saying, that'll do plane, that'll do. And it looks like we've got an astronaut over there. And just looking closely and you can see all that design is made out of corn cobs. You zoom in there, you can kind of see how everything, everything is made of corn. But let's head inside the Corn Palace. It actually smells like popcorn in here. You see the pillars there designed like corn cobs. Now look at that, all the uh, the corn cob pillars there. Oh, we got a tractor. Tractor inside here as well. I'm having a corn tacular time here at the Corn Palace. Let's take a look inside the arena here. You can see they do play basketball games in here, but it looks like they've got some sort of event set up in here. Not sure uh, what event this is, but you can see how the corn murals actually extend to the inside here. All that is made out of corn. See the corn uh, hunters there. You have a corn rushmore. Again, I saw that uh, yesterday, but uh, it wasn't made of corn, it was made of rocks. You can see above the stage there, the black and white hand holding each other. Yeah, we're kind of standing like near the middle of the basketball court here. See the score clock up above. See they have quite ample seating in here. It looks like there's maybe a little exhibit up here on top of the bleachers. See these photos here, the Corn Palace over the years. Of course it's one of the only roadside attractions that changes every single year. This dates back to 1892 which is crazy. You can kind of watch the evolution of the Corn Palace over the years. You can see this one here. It's shocking at first. You see that on the Corn Palace, but this was 1907. It was before World War II. 
and they put a notation here. Symbol on the building was an Indian good luck sign. So we drift here into color photography. We can see all the wonderful designs that the palace has had over the years. Taking us up to modern times here. Although, looks like the pictures end here at uh, 2014. Looks like maybe they just ran out of room. Looks like we have a little miniature corn museum up here. These are a collection of mugs and jugs that look like corn. And then here we have corn husk dolls. A little corn husk cowboy doll there. And not necessarily corn related, but uh, here's some bean shoes. Been using a lot of these penny presses recently. My uh, press penny collection is growing exponentially by the day, but uh, stumbled upon something I have never seen before in here. Now this is the penny smasher here, penny press. This here is a quarter press. Seriously, a quarter press. I've never in all my travels seen a quarter press before. I don't know if this is, this is a newfangled technology, but uh, we have some choices here. We can uh, make the corn palace out of a quarter. We can make the uh, corn mascot there, but I'm really curious, never seen a quarter press before. So we're gonna pump this, whoops full of quarters and uh, we're gonna see how this turns out so you put three quarters in there another quarter in that side and uh, oh yeah you always gotta first match up what you want let's get the corn palace there on a quarter I wonder if it's harder to crush a quarter than it is a penny oh oh yeah it is it's actually harder to crush. Let's see. Oh man, it's in a workout. Okay. And oh my gosh, there it is. My first ever, my first ever pressed quarter. Oh my goodness. That is pretty amazing. I've never seen a, leave a comment in the comment section if you guys ever seen a quarter press before. This is a new one. This is a new one for me. Yeah, like one crushed quarter is not enough. I'm gonna make the little mascot here as well. Yeah, look at my little corn man. Corn on a quarter. Of course I, I wanna get a penny too. And I do feel like here, on the Carpet Beggar channel that uh, different years have had kind of different themes. 2022 was the year of the claw machine. 2023 was the year of the carousel. I think I'm gonna declare 2024 the year of the smashed penny. I think we're gonna, I'm gonna make up my personal mission to smash every last penny left in the United States. And here, right across from the Corn Palace, we do have the dedicated Corn Palace gift shop. Out front of the gift shop, we have this lovely character here. Uh, this is the mascot of the Corn Palace. I don't know his name, but let's just, uh, let's just call him Corny. Let's see what wonders lie within the Corn Palace gift shop. Some clever stuff. The shirt that says Shuck Yeah. <laughs> Got uh, it's the Corn Palace bottle opener and magnet there. Even a corn cob pipe. If you so desire one. Oh look at these little look at these little cobs right here. It says world's only corn palace. Yeah, some great uh, t-shirts with some amazing corn puns. There's a corn dog. It's a dog's head on a cob of corn and uh, here in Mitchell you can be a corn star a corn star 
Oh, look at this. Miso corny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we have a variety. Corn Palace Christmas ornaments. Yeah, this little guy with, uh, okay, his name is Cornelius. I called him Corny. That was actually close, but there's Cornelius with a Santa hat. You hear a Mitchell, almost everything has corn on it. You have the uh, corn uh, lamp post there. Over here, you've got the corn ashtray. I got a couple things at the Corn Palace gift shop. I always like to buy a little something whenever I stop uh, at an attraction. Here's a magnet. You know, our, we, have, we have a big fridge, big fridge, big empty fridge. And, uh, you know, Jen previously, uh, Jen collected magnets. So I figure I would start adding to the magnet collection. Get the Corn Palace magnet there. I got a Corn Palace pin for my hat. It's been a while since I put a pin in my hat, so I figured uh, we'd add the corn palace to the hat. And then, last but not least, I got a corn pen. Pen uh, made like a corn cob. And it says, uh, established 1982, world's only corn palace. So it has been a wonderful day here in South Dakota. I got to see two of my favorite South Dakota attractions, the Corn Palace and Wall Drug. And I have a new favorite uh, South Dakota roadside attraction to add to that list. And that is the world's largest jackalope. Um, I do, you know, it is it, becoming apparent that uh, this is not the best time to visit South Dakota because a lot of stuff is closed down. So I do need to, at some point, make a point of going to South Dakota when there is some nice warm weather so I can fully get the uh, tourism experience that this state has to offer. I, I do think South Dakota, one of the most underrated states. It's one of my favorite states to road trip through. Uh, just, you know, a lot of a lot of fun stuff. So I think, I think we will be revisiting it, hopefully sooner than later. It was six years ago that I did my last trip through... Uh, through South Dakota, hard to imagine that it was uh, that it was that long ago. I think it was uh, was 20, uh, 2017, So actually, almost uh, almost like seven years ago, I think. Unless I'm doing math wrong, yeah, it's about seven years ago that I was in uh, was in South Dakota. So yeah, it's good to be back. But I definitely, it, it almost makes me thirsty for more South Dakota because uh, because it's cold and everything has been shut down. Even the uh, the secondary building of Wall Drug was not open today, which was a disappointment. I need, I need to get back there and see that, even though it's as much fun as I had at, uh, at Wall Drug. Love road trips, love tourist traps, love roadside attractions. So today has been a, today has been a fun day for me, but uh, I'm going to continue heading east. I'm going to try to drive a few more hours tonight. Still trying to uh, make it to Detroit to uh, to meet my goal to attend the event that I'm planning on attending. And uh, thank you. Thank you for coming along with me. It's good to be able to have you guys follow along with me on these road trips. Um, of course, if you do like these videos, please subscribe. Maybe give it a thumbs up. Maybe share it. Maybe stand on a street corner and yell at strangers to watch my videos. All that helps. What else helps is uh, Patreon, $3 or more. If uh, you, you give $3 or more, you get a postcard once a month from me to you. Also selling enamel pins in the Etsy shop, doing personalized messages on Cameo. I am thinking, you know, speaking of the pins, I am thinking about adding a few more things to my shop. Just brainstorming here. If you guys think of anything, like any type of merchandise that you would like to see, um, leave a comment in the comment section. I'm really curious. But of course, all those things help keep this train on the track, this boat in the water, and this dirigible in the air. Until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag. <laughs>